So my journey in real estate started whenever I was around 18, 19, immediately after high school. I uh, wanted to do something in a business career field before I got a degree in business and immediately realized I wanted to take the opportunity over the debt that I was looking at going to college and within two to three months quickly fell in love with real estate as a whole and that's helping people uh, making the biggest purchase of their life typically and making sure that I'm here for them not as just a, a salesman but a human and I hate the salesy feel of it and I realized at an early age if I was just a genuine person that wanted to help people out um, and not sell them something it's it's a lot more likely that the money's gonna come and I'll be in this business for a longer period of time and immediately I realized that's how I connected with people learning about them individually and loved every aspect of it and continuing that within my field and never thought that I'd do anything else so I stuck into it and a couple years later uh, COVID hits and like everyone else kind of shuts down my business abruptly within two to three months so everything that I'd worked for for three to four years at that point had been shut down completely and I was spinning my wheels. Definitely not in the right headspace or happy with where I was because I didn't have anything to do anymore. And even whenever the market did open back up at that point, I just didn't have the same passion for it. I didn't have the same camaraderie in the office to any extent. I, uh, I didn't have as many actively looking clients with the clients that were actively looking were super competitive in the market right then and there and at that point it kind of just took away from why I joined real estate and everything I loved about it and the amount of people that I was helping and plateauing in my business which at that point I'd grown at least a little bit every year and that really put a fire under me to keep it going keep growing and as soon as I saw my numbers plateau it got in my head and I realized I had to make a change and the worst that can happen is it's gonna get better. And I reached out to a few people and Drew Richmond was one of those people and we had a great conversation. She let me know a little bit more about the team dynamic and how they're still successful in a market that's not successful. And I was, uh, I mean, at that point, figured it's too good to be true. It's gotta be. <laughs> so that's why I interviewed probably six or seven times over a course of three to four months with the entire team and everyone seemed just as happy every time I came in and seemed just as successful and their goals were hit. And I said, well, I'll try it out. The worst that can happen is after a year, we're not a good fit and now I'll, uh, I'll figure it out from there. And what do you know, immediately within two to three months, I, I loved it. And everyone on the team that, that helped me reinstill the passion and love I had for real estate was almost immediate, friendly competition within the office and providing the opportunities that I'd asked for. And they can provide you with the opportunities and you cannot know how to work for them and obviously at that point that's uh that's going to be not a good fit but that's the only thing i prided myself on the systems not great at those but i know how to work and i know how to take advantage of these opportunities and that's one thing i honed in on and they lived up to what they told me and i respected that and appreciated that and the encouragement they gave me to take those opportunities and implement the systems i desperately needed to make sure that I could control and handle those and grow on a good track and I couldn't be more thankful for the amount of help they provided me to get to where not only I am now but the future that I see and the goals that are back again attainable and the love I have for real estate and helping people out as humans just being my genuine self and not selling to people and just helping them through uh, through the biggest process of their life and hopefully make it as happy and stress-free as possible.